yeah normally when I'm starting uh, I'm starting just brushing through the fur with this one just to get all the knots out Over. <clears throat> And then afterwards, I'm going in with a baking metal comb. Just getting the rests of the nuts out and just making the fur nice. Before we are starting hemp stripping, you can see all the like under uh, coat layer. And then I'm usually going in with this one. It's uh, Sprats number 72 and then just going all over I'll come back later yeah you can see that you are getting a lot more undercoat yeah you can see if I'm dividing her coat then she will have like the waterproof long uh, wired coat and then she's having a uh, like the under coat that is like soft. You can maybe see it easier here. Here you can see the difference between the under coat and then the longer. So I will just brush her through and then show you some different tricks and tips of how to strip. I'm now trying to show you like different techniques of how to strip. Like her shoulder here is really well stripped. You can see that it's falling perfectly from the neck and then down. But you can see here a little bit further down here it's a lot. So I need to like thin it out. And you can thin it out by doing this and then take the longest part use this one it's a smaller of the big one just to find it easier working with a smaller comb then you are using this movement and then you're taking the longest parts that is coming out maybe it's better with the long one or the big one she doesn't like being stripped uh, when she's not on the stripping table uh, so that's a little bit of a problem but maybe already you can see that I was thinning a little bit out here but you can see here it's still really long and like all the way down to her belly you can maybe see it like here it's a little bit patchy so I need to take off and then strip the longest parts here So it's getting a good, easy, nice transition. Now the angle is a little bit weird, so it looks like her top line is not that good. Uh, but she's also having a little bit, or a lot of fur here. You can maybe see already, like take a little bit more here and stuff. And here to get like a nice transition from the shoulder and then down to the belly. But it's better. 
I'm trying to take a voiceover now. You can see that her top line is pretty good. I would take a little bit closer to her tail, as you can probably see where I'm scratching her there to get the nice pretty top line of a can. Uh, but you can see that the fur is more even out than before. Now I can show you the different like techniques a little bit closer. So you can do it like the comb technique, just taking it sort of up. Usually you have two hands, then taking the stuff that is sticking out when you have been using your comb and then taking here. And then the technique that I recently started doing that I finally understood is just taking here and then you are taking the longest parts because a can should have seven layered fur when it's properly stripped but that is for a show can like here we um, she is getting short, uh, but I'm still a beginner with the stripping, so I'm not like, I'm still learning. So I will try to give you advice and stuff, but don't trust me completely with it. But like here you can see that it's really nice and soft transitions. And this is how it should be with the whole fur. And you can see that it's really... Here I've been stripping a lot. So here is really nice and like wired coat. Waterproof one. That they should have. And like for example here I feel that it's a little bit thick so then I'm just taking and thinning a little bit like this so this is like something that you can do every week almost just take the can up on the table or at least brush it um, so just take Like the longest than where you're seeing that it should be. Um, I can try to insert a picture of a really nice stripped can. Uh, or like a drawing. It's a really good illustration. Um, and this is like when you're starting then it's endless work with stripping if you want it to be like a show can if not then it work and like then you can just strip it down and then you're stripping you're stripping all the way down to the under coat there i was stripping her coat uh, or her back down in the autumn and now it's been growing out uh, now it's February so she has gotten like this really nice coarse coat uh, so it's improving your uh, the coat quality of your dog if you're stripping all the way down it's normal to do it in show cairns but for cairns that are not in shows you can strip it down twice a year 